Hello, gentle viewers. This is of Indian, welcoming you to This is the Police Part 2. The game in which you make some decisions, like killing someone with a knife that was apparently super loud, and a bunch of people got shot, and then we had ran into an ambush, and it wasn't a great day for the police force of Sharpburg. But maybe this day will be better. Let's see. Tell me, Victor, tell me honestly, are you a human being or a robot? Huh? Right? Or are you sure? Have you checked? Because it seems to me you have a set of programmed commands instead of brains in your head. Ever consider showing a little bit of flexibility? Just a little bit, huh? Ever consider that selling butter and selling gasoline isn't the same thing? I... Well, listen... Listen to me, Victor. Listen to me a second before your tiny electrical brains run out of batteries. When you sell him butter, you sell him a delicious breakfast. A person can live without a delicious breakfast. Yes, most people in this fucking town haven't even heard of a delicious breakfast. When you sell him butter, he's in a position to bargain. Because if he doesn't have butter, he'll smear his toast with clay. And by God, I swear he will eat it with no less pleasure. But when you sell him gasoline, Victor, when you sell him gasoline, you sell him him his business. You sell him the entire meaning of his existence. Because, Victor, if he doesn't have gasoline, he'll have to shut down his gas station. And if he closes his gas station, he won't have butter or toast on the table. And in fact, he won't even have a fucking table. Because his creditors will take away his whole fucking house. And a man needs a fucking house so that he can have a place to put his fucking table. You got the logic, right? Now see if you can digest it with your fucking electrodes or whatever you usually think with with, and call me back when you come to an agreement on the price. Ah, you're already here. I'm sorry, Jack. It's a busy time of year. I gotta sit by the phone all day. I can call you Jack, right? Why am I asking? I'm already calling you Jack. <laughs> Let's sit down. He looks like George Lucas does Jack. We could go to the bar, by the way. I'm waiting for a call, but I could. It's fine here. You sure? Well, as you like. That's what I love about Sharpwood. Sharp wood. Even if I forget to put the beer in the refrigerator, it'll still be cold. Here, you can help yourself. Hmm, doesn't look like beer, does it? Well, what is it? The infamous smelly soup? You should try it. Go on. Try it, try it. Don't be squeamish. Half of Sharpwood eats that soup every day. <laughs> no one's dead yet. <laughs> Not from the soup, anyway. <laughs> now I see. Hmm? Now I see why you'd say that anyone who lives on this soup would try to get out of here. Well, yes, but... Uh... But most of them stay. What do you think keeps them here? Family? Friends? Friends? But there's nothing easier than making friends. When did you arrive in Sharpwood? About ten weeks ago? Or was it eight? And look, you're already surrounded by friends. No, no, it's not friends. It's the enemies. Ask anyone in the city. Ask a poor man. Ask a rich man. Of course, if you can find a rich man. They all have them. Every one of them has a neighbor they can't stand. Well, how can you leave Sharpwood and allow your enemy to go on without you? So he could plant a cherry tree in your backyard? So he, not you, could buy drugs on discount? So he could grab a nice plot of land in the cemetery? No, no, no one can allow this. The enemy must be exhausted if it takes you your whole life. With the enemy, you need to fight to the last. Once you have an enemy, you're doomed. You can't think straight. Old Sheriff Wells was doomed. He couldn't stand drug dealers. I myself don't care for him, but Wells didn't count them as people at all, despised them more than murderers and rapists, and as soon as those fucking neckties appeared in the city, he knew right away that they were his enemies. Enemies which he must overcome, you see? And even if by some miracle he succeeded, what next? What other enemies would he have invented? And the performance we arranged for him that night? He had no reason to believe that there were ties hiding in that house. But one phone call, from this phone here, by the way, and he rushes off into the night to God knows where. You know what happened next. He threw himself into a hail of bullets, got two young cops killed too, though they had absolutely nothing to do with it. 
Sheriff Wells invented his enemies, and he paid for them dearly. So the policeman had to pay for doing police work. What? Jack, come on! I know we need the police. Of course we need them. There was a case here recently, a month before you got here, maybe less. A fellow named Rocco, he was a butcher here. His old mother, Bertha, went missing. And Bertha had either Alzheimer's or old age dementia, or is it the same thing? I, anyway, poor Bertha always forgot everything. Couldn't even recognize Rocco half the time. And then suddenly, she disappeared somewhere. So, what did our Rocco decide? Our Rocco decided that his mother was kidnapped by Eves Menke, another local butcher, his competitor, so to speak. No, oh, just think, a man finds his mother missing, his old sick mother who can't remember her way to the toilet, and the first idea that comes into his head, his competitor kidnapped her. He watched too many movies, I guess. So what did Rocco do? Rocco picked up the hammer, went to Eve's Menke's house, cracked open his skull, then broke his brother's skull, then broke his father's skull, then went down to their basement shouting, Mom, I've come to save you. And the basement was empty. Of course it's fucking empty. And there he is, standing there. Goes back home, covered in blood, hammer in hand, and his mother is there, sitting in her armchair, quietly knitting. Walked around in the woods all day, then came back home. Doesn't even remember a thing about it. Now Rocco will be in prison for the rest of his life. But if he just called the police, if the cops had combed the forest looking for poor Bertha, nothing would have happened. So of course we need the police. Never imagine, Jack, that I think the police is my enemy. I don't invent enemies for myself. I won't repeat the old sheriff's mistakes. Unlike the new sheriff. What, you arranging a special performance for her, too? I could, of course, but what happens after that? Marino says that after Gail Greenberg's death, there's no first deputy in the department. So if the sheriff suddenly dies, anyone might take her place. And I do not need anyone. I need you. I'm sorry? You're working in the sheriff's department, unofficially, right? I think it's time to formalize your status. First deputy sheriff. It's a good start, huh? Why would Lily formally appoint me as first deputy? You're not listening to me at all, Jack. Lily invented an enemy for herself and will do anything if it means she can get even with her enemy. Believe me, run the ties out of Sharpwood and you'll get your post. She wouldn't think for a second. I'm not sure she... Uh... Just think, Jack, just think! The ties didn't just flood the city with drugs. Oh, no, that would not be enough. The ties killed her precious Sheriff Wells. Well, that's what she believes anyway. But would they stop at that? Oh, no. The ties killed Gail Greenberg. And was that enough? Not at all. Now the ties had also killed her champion, Captain Carter. As far as I know, Jack, you made sure poor Lily thought as much. You can be sure, Jack. Hatred for her enemy has all but blinded our sheriff. Like her predecessor. Like her predecessor's predecessor. Consider this a Sharpwood tradition. Suppose she agrees. Although I do not really believe she will, then I'll still need to deliver and take out these ties. Is that a problem? I thought you were an experienced cop. I don't even know where their headquarters are. But I do. I learned a lot from our distinguished young student, Arthur Sherman. The scholar couldn't be held in isolation without books. He traded all the valuable secrets of the insidious neckties for the Viscount de Bragelone. Can you imagine? <laughs> Even if I can. Oh, that must be Victor. Don't worry, Jack. She'll agree. You'll see. She'll agree without hesitation. <laughs> Call me when you made the deal. Just don't leave it too long. Here, little souvenir from Freebird. Hello. What? Why does he need so much? It doesn't matter how much he's willing to pay. It's physically impossible at that time. Wow. I'm touched. people all right
So I think it could be the poor neighbor. So let's go ahead and get some clues. Uh, Spurlock, that'll be your job. Uh, give me clues. And there we go. Five thirty five in progress. Okay, that's pretty nasty. Code I. Go take care of it, Pankin. Go find out where our missing dead guy went. Five thirty six in progress. Yeah, I don't have the people for it right now. It could also be bullshit. It could also very well be that he's actually not abusing his dog. Yeah, because I'm not going to have anyone there in time. Negotiate order. Uh, chuck a stun grenade. 535 complete. Uh, well, we got the offender. He just shot himself. God damn it. 529 in progress. Okay, he was just walking his dog. Okay. Ah, that's a pretty weak, uh, thing. I am not up for that. That's pretty ridiculous. 558 in progress. She was a painter who was painting the bell tower. She forgot to bring a room. Yeah, I doubt they use explosives to get into her house. But that's a lot more serious than this other crap. So, yeah. We're definitely going to send people to that. It's not after dark. What the shit, dude? Five thirty four in progress. Okay, this is clearly a different kind of beating. All right, we gotta make this happen. I can't, I literally cannot make this work because of fucking Barodka. 564 in progress. Oh, it was a window breaking, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I 
I fucking hate you, Horse Moon. <sighs> Five eighteen in progress. Terrible stench and smoke. I don't have the people, even if I wanted to go to that one. This is stuff being set on fire. That's pretty serious. Let's give her some soup. Someone stole something. I don't have any diapers. I don't have any cocaine. Great. Alright. Let's have a way to disarm traps. Interrogate. And ninja. And we'll take some shooting stuff, and that'll be your thing. I would very much think it would be silly to go in through the front door. Alright, let's get you over here. Roger. And then get you up there. Is there any door in here that we can obviously see besides the front door? I don't think there is, which does create a bit of an issue. Oh shit. That's going to be an issue because I might get seen.
Roger. I need information. That's, I think, the most important thing to do. Alright, we're going to try something a bit risky, because I genuinely don't have another choice. We're going to have to move people out into the open. I've just got to hope that they don't see me. Oh, and there's a second floor. Great. Okay, good. I thought it was going to force me to take the shot. I'd prefer to be as stealthy as possible. Alright, immediately we're going over here. grab him next turn. Now our biggest issue here is that there's too many people in this hallway or could potentially be too many people. So we don't want to rush things. Let me get you to move up.
Because what I want to do is I want to interrogate someone so I can see where the other people are. Always do the easy stuff first so you don't forget. Okay, that's what I thought. <clears throat> oh, that would be right next to the guy. That would be very stupid. If uh, I'm going to wait on this till we're prepared to either thin out the numbers some more or go loud. Pots, you get over here so you can help me with these two over here. We have a visual. Roger. That's how you can be most useful. You go ahead and move up. And we'll just end the turn. Oh, excuse me. Cannot get quite close enough. So I'm gonna be run up here. Ooh, there's some evidence. Okay. Five eighty. does it. Lock him up. And let's interrogate him. Okay, there's a guy back there. One, two, three, four, five, six in there. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and hold the turn. Kidding, you really can't get up there all the way. Five eighty.
I think I can go in through the window in a couple of places. I think that's our other avenue. Yep, I'd go with the window there. Alright, quickly arrest this guy. Get on the ground! We have visual. Alright, we don't know if there's anyone in this room down here. But we might in a second here. Yep, there's two people in there. It's a damn good thing I decided not to go in there. Let's go down the turn. Okay, there is another side door. Yeah, there's really nowhere else you can hide, so I'm just gonna go down the turn here. Now, the thing is that this guy cannot, has very limited places he can go. All right, and she's got three moves now, so stopping her from walking up. Oh, yes, there is. You don't have any fucking baton, do you? Oh, shit, you've got a taser with no... Oh, that's bad. Someone else has to stun him for you, then. I can't risk it. <laughs> Not even for a biscuit. Um. Okay, I think everyone's just gonna stay where they are. Yeah, you're just gonna have to be stuck there and hope that he gets closer so that you can come in and bop him. You no 
know what? Can you toss a stun grenade in there? Do you have a stun grenade? Well, let's get a bonus action next turn. Because you could literally walk up right next to him. You don't have anything else to stun people, do you? Yeah, you'd get spotted instantly by this jerk face. Alright. gonna wait. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna end this turn. This is really risky because he's gonna spot us. Um. Roger. Five eighty. choice. I made a really bad choice. What do you have, Rockman? I can't salvage this. There's nothing I can do to salvage it. Because, yeah, he knows she's there because I failed on the arrest. Alright. Okay, here's what we have to do. Okay, run inside. Okay. We're going to sniper take him out and then take you out with him. Eliminated. Oh, nice. You get the free silent shot. So they won't necessarily know where you are. Oh, this could be perfect. Yeah, stun these two jerks. And then I am just going to wait a turn because I don't know what these guys are going to do.
Alright, this is it. Okay, step one, flower pots. Get somewhere useful. Oh, uh, you've got no one to shoot. Roger. So I'm gonna just shoot you. Alright, we're going to try the easier stuff. Let's just shoot people. You may take a casual day. Because I can't do anything about that guy. He might be the only guy left, actually. Ooh, that's, that's not a super great chance. Got him. Nice work. No casualties. Well, except for them, but do they really count? I don't think they do. Well, let's make you a little better at shooting. Uh, shooting, please and thank you. Uh, shooting. Intelligence, shooting, oh perfect, okay, alright we already decided that one's probably BS, because it probably means like video games or something. Oh okay. I think they were playing video games, that was my guess. I don't have the people for that. Alright, we're gonna need more slides, so we'll worry about that tomorrow.
Do we know what color the chicken is? I don't think we do. I am Samani. I think it's the poor neighbor. That's my guess. He grabs the chicken, he takes aim, he runs away, and then gets under the fence. Oh, you know what? I bet this happened last. Five nineteen in progress. Um. Five eighteen complete. Oh god damn it, Pots. Sorry, that's not your fault. Um She's a homeless purse. Oh fuck me. I can't actually do it today. Yeah, let's spend a hundred bucks and see if that fixes it. <gasps> oh no! I didn't realize I killed her! We're not going to be able to rest that one woman till tomorrow. Oh, I didn't realize what would happen. I thought it would make her better, and I killed her. I'm sorry, flower pots. Order everyone to calm down. 519 complete. Oof. I feel like a monster. Oh, she was my best cop. One of my best cops. I think Marshall's actually a little bit better. I'm gonna grab you and make you a detective full time. Stockman, Marshall, Aliyev, Guzman, Chapman, Bullbag, McGuire, Belmont, Jackson, Okay, you actually have the wrong kind of hat. I gotta bring in Chelmicki and Deemer, so I need to make sure we got enough people. Jamie, Corey, great. Come help me move some papers from Sheriff Wells' office. A lot of papers and some other stuff, too. Come on, guys. Let's get moving. Sheriff Wells' office? I thought we, uh, aren't like we not allowed to enter his office? You don't... you don't need to go inside. Just wait in the hall. I'll take it all out and you can help get it downstairs. I'll get some twine or something to tie up the stacks of folders. Sheriff Reed here? Yeah, we're waiting for her. She asked me and Jamie to come help with her.
Hey, what's that? Mold? That? Oh yeah, that, that's black mold. Yeah, I can I can see it's black. Has it been there for long? You just noticing that? <laughs> then you'd better not look at the ceiling in the dining hall. Well, it's oh. all rotten, from one end to the other. I always think the thing is gonna fall on me, like it's a race. Can I finish my sandwich before the ceiling finishes me? Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Yep, you all have. You're all dead. Yeah, can mold can mold cause coughing? It's bad for your health, right? Some kind of toxin or something? What? <laughs> Hardly. Oh man, feels like I've been breathing in garbage. When was the last time we had repairs? Repair? Are you kidding? This place has been falling apart for forty years. Hmm. How old is this building? 80 years? Hmm, uh, 122. <laughs> that old? Are you sure? You ever read the sign at the entrance? You think I'm the kind of person <laughs> who reads dumb signs? Well, it's been right in front of your nose every morning for, like, how long you worked here? 11 years? Going on 13. 13 years? And you <laughs> never looked at the sign? 13 years and you never noticed the black mold on the ceiling. And I heard from your wife that for 13 years you haven't, uh... Look. You want me to look at mold all these years? I don't even think it was there before. It used to be white mold. Now it's black. These are different types of fungus. When the temperature- Yeah, yeah, what's the fucking difference, black or white? I've never seen white mold before, or black mold. And the floor didn't use to creak. <laughs> Maybe we have termites. I do not want to fall through the floor one day. Hey, you got a cigarette? Got a light? Uh, a light? Um... Sheriff Reed isn't gonna be happy about smoking in the station. Well, uh, Sheriff Reed doesn't have to know everything, right? It's me. Yeah, already done. She agreed. Very. No, that won't be necessary. No, no, let Marino bring me everything in writing, then I'll do it myself. Yes. Excellent. Nope, plenty of cop criminals left. You know what? Get lost, Percy. Uh, no, I'll keep him. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. If she dies, they get a free cop. I didn't realize that. Yes. Interesting. That changes perspective on things. All right, Frenchie. Um, all right, Frenchie. Or Gildan, Stern, and Frenchie. Let's focus on this one today. Oh, God damn it! I did it again. Oh, you can just click it again. Oh, wow, that's good. All right. Do I have enough clues? Oh, no, I don't have nearly enough clues. And then let's have, uh, Chell Mickey just look for new clues today. Ooh. It's out of the abandoned circus, where he's trying to hide. It's former clown, so they haven't helped sketch a map. Go take care of it, you two. Why don't you like wool bag? 
It's not the night ship, so she won't be there. 572 in progress. No, I am not going to pull out the damn hot water pipes. Counterfeiting. I bet it's not actually counterfeit, but nonetheless, we'll still send someone to it. 531 in progress. That's everyone we got. The guys came to Sharp Water Tour. Our musician Zoltan was always nice. What a beautiful lake we have here. Child disappeared. Come to the circus, lay down some flowers. Remember my friends. I decided this one last time. Then we trap wood for good. There's a fence around the tents and dangerous traps in the snow. I can draw you a map of the place. Okay, let's do these things. I need an intelligent cop who can watch my arm and yak. Alright. I'll have people back here in just a minute. 530 in progress. Negotiation. Order the man to drop his weapon. 531 complete. Aw, he didn't get to make, get married to his cat. That's kind of sad. I kind of feel bad now. Oh, god damn it. Right, we got people back. Yeah, let's wait. Because you guys will be back here soon. Alright, let's send Jackson, Yarbrot, and Belmont. Let's send Stockman. He's pretty smart, right? Yeah. Oh, um, I need Armagnac. Okay. Got it. Let's talk to Anna. How much would Armagnac cost me? You don't have it. You might. Rafa's got everything. Here we go. I'll buy one bottle of it. Five fifty three in progress. The legendary lithium nail. That's not great. Shock in. Five thirty complete. Good work, guys. Sneak up on him. Five fifty three complete. If you try to lift him down to your head, you can receive inhuman abilities. Hey, I know a book they're talking about. It's just not lithium. Um. That'd be the Mistborn Saga by Brandon Sanderson, which I actually just started reading not too long ago. Five fifteen in progress. I finished the original trilogy a couple of days ago. I really like it. It is Avindian approved, as these things go. Alright. Let's send Marshall and Kurosawa. Alright. Marshall and Woolbag. 519 in progress. Noise complaint. Heavy blows through the window. This is probably BS. You know what, Kurosawa? Deal with it. 
Oops, I didn't actually need to send Percy. I totally missed that. Order him to surrender. 515 complete. Good job. 554 in progress. Must have 20 people in the main tent, just as many people spread out. Quietly and carefully, the generator is throwing up sparks. If we short it out, it'll burn the tent. All right, let's gather some intel. Traps. There's no marked path. I do have a few days left. Ooh, the theft, I didn't even see this. Yeah, I don't have the people for it. I gotta wait till more people get back. 542 in progress. Extreme services, oh dear. God damn it. I should never respond to noise complaints. They're almost never a thing. Nash, would you quit being a whiner? Okay, we got more people back. We got stuff maxed out there. All right, the sole surviving bottle and a Tranchier Armagnac. Broken baseball bat. Huge female flew into the store, more man than woman. Psycho with a high voice. That's probably a woman. Okay, so it goes through the front door. Gets out. Starts breaking bottles. Beat him with a bat.
Oh, uh, no, we actually don't know that you hit her with the bat. Yeah. Go after her. Order him to stop. 554 complete. And we found a home TV set. Let's improve your stealth. I just bet you went here. I'm taking a I'm taking a very small risk, but I'm pretty sure that's where she is. Shoot into the air, Stockman. Five forty two complete. Oh shit. Whoopsie. Should have gone up after him. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made were made. Got her. Negotiation. Oh, let's get some speed for you. Okay. How did you manage to put on so much muscle? Yeah, this seems the, the more appropriate way. We want to try to, like, win her confidence. Spinach is the most useful food in the world. It's tons of iron. Help to gain muscle mass. If we're trading them in. Beautiful, blooming city. I understand what you're saying, but why did you decide to go break all the liquor bottles? I tried to talk to them. You're just sitting there nodding. I guess we got a torturer. Um... She's afraid of water. Doesn't like burned. Let's go to the pig slaughterhouse. Okay, let's do it somewhere else. Let's go to the old church. No, the old church isn't going to help. What do I actually want to send her? The dead house, maybe? I guess we'll use a medical instrument? Or is this getting sent to killer too? That didn't help. Okay, this is not working. Let's go back to the slaughterhouse. We're spending so much money doing this, but I think the slaughterhouse is the only place we found. Let's put him in pig shit, I guess. Got her. Go take care of it, Demers. So far, there's no negative consequences for torturing people. Um. Which is good, because I keep... I wish you got more clues to help... Not in the torture process, but in the... Other process. I feel like a psychiatrist on staff or something. Maybe. Maybe. 
All right. No, I want you on the western. No, quit it. Uh, let's do Belmont Marshall. And then we'll add some more people tomorrow. Um, Hodges is freaking amaze balls, but yeah. The only problem is these people are going to be working every day. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, you can stay home if it might make you loyal. Auto assign all the things, please and thank you. Um, this is far more important. Find us some more clues. And then, who else? Clayton's pretty smart. And I'll send Spurlock. Um, oh, there's three different possibilities. That's all I can afford right now. Um, let's get some more people assigned. Jackson is pretty stealthy. And what about this one? Birch. There we go. Five thirty-four in progress. Yeah, that's a pretty bad thing. can try it. I would like to sell some things so we can make some money. Damn, leather boots are pretty good.
We need to get some, I can't believe I'm saying this, we need to find some drugs so we can make some cash. 536 in progress. Lady, order him to let him go. 534 complete. Good work. We got some cigarettes. Let's improve your shooting. Five fifteen in progress. That's actually not a bad idea. 250 bucks is pretty reasonable. Yeah, that was kind of expensive. Ooh, Penkin is less useless now. Still useless, but less useless. Let's use pepper spray. It seems ridiculous to hit her with the baton. Five thirty six complete. Ooh. That was close. Five twenty six in progress. Woman in a red cloak, someone making the crows cry and hungrily attack the grievers. I think you're just completely insane, woman. That's my opinion. Five thirty in progress. Oh shit. We're gonna have to wait and hope uh, that she gets back quickly enough. Come to get out of the car. 515 complete. Hooray, the beer is safe. Five thirty one in progress. I think that's a good idea. Oh yeah. I like his old hat though. Two, one, go. Yeah, we can't do anything about this one, which is gonna suck. Tackle in. 5.30 complete. Good work.
pretty blue lights. Ran toward the flashing light. Traces of red paint. Smashed up and wet. Yeah, this is pretty clearly the fire truck. Okay, pushed it off the road. We need one more frame. We'll have to look into that tomorrow. It's definitely the fire truck. For sure. I really did try to escape. Good work. Got some toilet paper, some coffee, some cigarettes. And I think given the lengthy couple of assaults we've had, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I wonder if we're actually nearing the end of the game, because if I remember right... The Necktie Assault is the last stage in the game, I think? But maybe it's not. We'll have to see what happens. Um, thank you for watching, as always. I appreciate your views, your likes, and your comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good day. Although there actually could be a cutscene. Please don't be a cutscene. Guilty-ish. Can I get the super cop? I really want the super cop. Man. Weak. I'll take the really fast one. Um. Stockman, Aliyev. Chapman, Guzman. I'm going to bring Spurlock back, but she's just going to be a detective again. Let's bring back Titus. Okay. Now, this is really seriously the end of the episode. Thanks again for watching. You heard what I said a few minutes ago. And I bid you good day.